Let's talk about boys. As we know, it can be very hard to find a gifts, worthwhile gifts for boys that aren't electronics um, or clothes. So we all know that boys you know, can buy them sports things. And then I know myself that a lot of the electronics, the consoles and things and computer games that have come into the house over the years have come in when I have run out of ideas of things to get. And in, in desperation, I've ended up buying a console or and yet another game. So all of us, I think, know that let's try and get children away from that type of thing. And Christmas is the ideal time because you can provide a few things that, you know, a selection of ideas that that uh, that might be a little bit outside the box. So I have gone through with my son. I only have one son and five girls, but I've only one son. He's 17 now. So I had a good chat with him and I said, what the things did you like, you know, that you got for Christmas or birthdays or, you know, that that worked and like a lot of things didn't work. He, he never liked, um, you know, air fix, you know, those sort of things. Um, I think that's a specific type of boy. He likes that. And he o he always did like, you know, the classic things as well. And of course, he loved the, the PlayStation and, and uh, all of those sort of genre of things. But these are all the things that he picked out with me in the last few days that he liked and he actually um, went back to time and again. So without further ado now these are for um mainly i would say middle a middle childhood age and young teens that's what i would say this is this a selection is based for but you can judge for yourself and i'm going to link in the description box any of that i can find and if i can't find the exact thing i'll find something similar and it might just give a few ideas anyway just way you know kind of little avenues that you can explore yourselves so in my last video, I mentioned the Klutz books, um, and uh, I have a l we have a lot of Klutz books in our house. But in fact, I think I have a whole shelf uh, full of them. Um, but a few that I've picked up for this video that are specifically, I would say, a little bit more suitable for boys. Um, so I'll show you them now. So this is not all of them are, are available still. You can get them secondhand, I think some of them and some of them you can still get but also it just might give you an idea of something else that you can get along that lines so this is one of the first ones um that that we had at home um tricky video and it comes it came with this little <laughs> clapper board so they can make their video and they can know when to edit and they write they write you know act one scene one and so on and this was um this was one of the things that um, he and well other sisters and some of the children on the street used to, especially during summer they'd spend a lot of time out um, on the street making these um, fun videos how to and it's actually very very informative and they still get to use their phone or some sort of video material so it's kind of a, a nice compromise between electronics and um, books. This one is a newer one it's make your own movie and it's also Klutz. Klutz have been taken over by Scholastic, so it's that's why they're probably a bit more um, in mainstream shops now. Um, so this one comes with the little Lego things and the little pieces you need, and it shows you how to do the stop motion animation. And this has a few little different, a few different backdrops that you can have your your stories, and they they make a little three D scene. So you open them like this. I'm just trying to get the Get the focus right. So you've got like a garden space, something like the Lego movie here. That one is like the Lego movie. An Arctic one, um, volcano, is that a volcano? And then um, a sea, under the sea one. So they're kind of, um, I think they're great. They're very imaginative. And um, you can have, you know, that can, that's the sort of thing they can go back to over years. And even an older teenager, some of our older teens have a great one with this. Um, here's another Klutz one, that, which was a, I think is nice for boys. It's the book of impossible objects. So it is actually sort of lies on it. It is, um, it has the items that you need, weird stuff inside. And it's to do with the illusions. So it has this book and um, all sorts of um, different a uh, 25 eye popping projects and illusions so it uses mirrors and spinning things and all of these so um, even an older teen actually would enjoy that I think um, 
this was one prankster magic which is nice for your, your, your younger boys it came with a little piece of artificial joke chewing gum prank chewing gum and fake gum and it has like lots of little um pranks and magic tricks so that was a that was a fun one that they that they enjoyed there was another one they had as well it was a stopwatch challenge and it gave you all the different ideas of things um stopwatch activities you could do and um, i think that's all of the clothes ones oh no there's one more i'll show you it's at the bottom of the pile this um was and still is one of his favorite things he's 17 now and this has been in the house i'd say at least 10 years so what it is is um, it's actually a traditional African um, mancala. I actually picked up a traditional um, one of these. I, I was on a, a youth um, sort of um, service project in in Africa when I was uh, in my twenties, and we have we have up in the attic a, a actually traditional one of these. But it's that, it, and in Africa it's called Ayo. Um, so it's one of these addictive games, um, a bit like solitaire that you can play. You play with your can't remember if you can play it by yourself but certainly you can play with two people or three and um very um tactile and a nice feel to it so that was he loves this and he still he still does and he did he's he loved it when he was younger too um this was a funny one um one year i saw these online and it, all it is is a, is a, a notebook a little journal and he doesn't write on it in particular i'm just trying to see how i can focus this I can't. Um, so it's funny, like a little tree bark thing, and it is texture three D, and three man journal, and it has just little fun pictures on it uh, on each page. So um, he got this when he was about nine. <laughs> he still loves it. He has it kind of on display in his, in his room, but he hasn't written much on it. But he does like it. Um, these are a great present for anybody, and he always um, is always asking me to get him more is whiteboard markers very good this one is um published by silver dolphin books so what this is is the inventions of leonardo da vinci so it it is one of these um sort of collector's books i'm just trying to see if i can get the focus right here um and in it is five actual complete um models of Leonardo's um, machines that you can make. So there's a weapons one there, I think it's a battery and ram or something, um, some sort of mechanics. And for the right child, so for a child who likes these kind of construction and that sort of intricate sort of book, that is a lovely gift. And it, it actually looks really nice as well. It's a really lovely uh, kind of a satin feel to it. That is The Inventions of Leonardo da Vinci. Um, this is a nice one, which I think um, oh, um, he, my son got this when he was, I think he was a little bit too old when he got it, but he made a few of them. But I see it's for a, age eight plus. So it's a little just for boys bracelets. And it's a little it has the little materials for making these different leather um, leather. Oh, I dropped it. Um, so he did make a few of them which are up in his room but it comes with the li lots of little um let me show you that the little um threads the little cords for making uh, these and these can be quite cool um you know for the boy a little chain and beads and so on as a little piece of leather there for making so he he was a bit old when he got it i think for us so probably probably more eight plus. I think he was actually about 14 when I gave it to him. And I think he thought he was a, kind of moved on from a, a craft kit, but it, I, I think it actually is a still a, go, a very good gift for a more younger, maybe, well, eight plus. This is a great gift, I think. Um, roller coaster challenge. So this is, um, think fun, 40, easy to super hard challenges. So this actually kind of comes under one of these stem sort of toys. So what it is, so you get a baseboard here, and then there's, where's the cards gone? Oh here, they're here. <laughs> so you get the little booklet, there's instructions here, I'll put them in E. So the, here's the instructions, how to do it. And then you get all of these pieces and connectors and uh, here's a little 
starter thing. And it has, here's the cards here. So it has, from easy to difficult, a selection of roller coasters that you can make, that your boy can make, or your girl, um, and the solution. So here's the, here's the challenge, set up, how to, do, how to set it up, and then here's the solution if you don't, if, you, if you're having difficulties with it. So I think that is great, and here's the little, the little roller coaster car that goes with it, and I think that's great gift. and it's a little bit different as well it's a bit you know for the boy who likes the likes of um <coughs> the model cars or um i'm trying to think of the name of the of the skeletric a uh, it's kind of like a, another kind of take on that which is very good oh there's the parts of it another gift which has been was very successful in all of our children like this and in fact i actually used it later on a few years later for my daughter when, for when we were doing electricity in, in her home school. Um, it's snap circuits. And I think there's another one you can get, which is one up from this too. So this has all of the, it has a, a baseboard here as well. And then there's different um, project, projects you can do. There's a little fan you can make, and then there's lights you can light up, and there's things that make alarms and music and all sorts. And it gives you the instructions how to make each one. So I think that is a great, it's a great gift and um, snap circuits i really like that um, a few more um, <laughs> this is a fun book um, monster catcher the diary of a monster catcher War warning contents are revolting so <laughs> it's one of these um you know, these series that you get with the pop-up in them but this one is very good now some children obviously if the little young boy might be a bit scared of it but it has really intricate pop-ups lots of um lift the flaps little books you can do and there's field notes and more pop-ups and what's this um so it's one of those what's this a little field journal put that back in um and it kind of a little letter you can open it hits that kind of um you know when little boys when boys and girls like that kind of potty humor stage where they like kind of things like uh yuck yuck things and so it's kind of fun I, I think that's a good book there's lots to do and it's a sort of a go go to again and again so he liked that um here's two more klutz books which were also very popular was the book of inventions the klutz book of inventions and there's another one and there's also two more books that i didn't that i haven't got here one is the a uh, the klutz book of immaturity which is actually uh, a, it's a it's really fun um, another one called Made You Look, which is, a, I really recommend it as well. Um, so this one is a book of inventions and it is just kind of funny inventions and things like that. So the sort of thing that you'll, you'll, you know, you'll bring, bring to, if you leave that on a table, people will definitely go and, go and read that. This one we got last year, um, Fantastic Press Out Flying Birds. So what you do is you press out the bird. I have a few of them done. Um, but they are again, I, I'd say they're mainly American birds. So if you were looking th for them for um, an educational use, the, most of these birds aren't European. Most of them are, are actually American. Um, but anyway, so you, you, you press them out. So there's not too much work involved in them. And then you fold and then you put a little coin, like a penny or a cent or something like that, into the bottom. And it gives them just that weight to kind of fly across. And they actually have good, good, um, good flight. We've tried out a few of them and they have... They're, it, they're good fun, but they're nice little sort of stocking filler type thing. And this, I think, was one of the very first Klutz books we ever got, um, which is actually missing its cover. But it is the Klutz book of paper airplanes. And I think they've got a newer model of this out now. Um, so it has been, <laughs> I think it's mainly been used up, but all of them have used this, but he, he loved it too. So it's just all sorts of different types and it shows you you don't actually ha it it did include the papers which are all gone um um but you can use any paper and it had all different techniques of um of different different types of, of paper airplane rockets and all sorts of things so i thought this was excellent and that got a, a huge amount of play value out of that they all loved it Ripley's Believe It or Not is always a big success in our house. I think it comes in, it doesn't come in every single year, but I'd say about every three, about every three years, 
a someone gets it and they all love it and um, so it's it'd be nice for a boys and it's it's a bit like the guinness book of records but it's um it's more kind of un unusual things like you know that people have done which is fun and my husband loves this it's a good present for a husband as well i'd say and um, just a few more here now um this one here was another klutz a card trickery um it's nice to have books of card games in the house I, I, we have a few more upstairs um because our our family aren't a big card playing family but the, it does come in kind of waves where they play cards for weeks and then they're put aside again i suppose lots of families are like that so these are the sort of things you can get um nice sets of cards as well so this is the waddington the superheroes cards um and they're kind of nice and collectible as well and kind of nice little easy um easy stocking fillers so that's the waddington one this was a good one which actually my daughter got but um she was big into tim burton movies um so i th I thought it was great little it has all of the different uh characters from him from him you know so um and we also have um the i couldn't f put my hand on them just as i was making the video one was the jane austen playing cards they're so 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 lovely for a kind of a teenage girl and also um he has the, the medieval warriors one which is nice and has all the different types of crusaders and warriors um, so that's a nice book to have and or you could look up and just find another good card game book but the Klutz ones always make make the instructions very accessible these are and these are the last two things now one is um the book of man by william bennett if you know me or if you know if you've watched any of my pages or anything like that you'll know that i just love the whole book of virtues and all of the all of the offshoots that have come from it um, so this is kind of the same format as the Book of Virtues. And I think it's a lovely present for a boy who is just kind of middle teenage where he's kind of finding his way. Um, and or, or maybe a boy going to university, you know, that kind of, of gift. Uh, readings on the path to manhood, to manhood, to manhood, readings on the path to manhood. And so what it is, is if, if you're familiar with the Book of Virtues or the, the children's ones, it has the different it has like speeches, letters um, little biographies and so on about different men that you can look up to. And we know that actually male role models are very important for boys now because some of the role models are rather lacking that they're <laughs> looking up to now. Morally lacking, I would say. Um, so it has to do with work, say, sport and play and, le and leisure, politics. Um, prayer and Reflection, um, a, a Prayer in Dark Times by Franklin D. Roosevelt, A Prayer for Peace, Abraham Lincoln, um, Glory, uh, different things. And then, I don't think this is illustrated. No, it's not. Um, a really lovely book and a lovely book for a boy to have beside his bed that he can kind of look at from time to time. And, and, and I think that you can keep for your whole life. Really good. And then finally, uh, this was... I think this was I spotted this last year and I got it from and he likes it. It's the body weight stack 52 mega pack. So it's a little magnetized box, which is nice. And what it is, is just a load of exercises. So there's it comes and there is there's it's divided into um, four or five. No, it's, it's divided into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. So it's divided into eight types of exercise so it has legs body um uh, what else anyway diff different you know so maybe core core weight arms upper arms or whatever and you can pick you know one from each each section or so one of each color so one would be yellow red blue and it tells you what to do so repeat 10 so and, and what level it's at so it has like level one two three four five um and then repeat this and it also has on each exercise a little qr code that you can it links to a video that actually demonstrates how to um how to do that actually ex that actual exercise so i i think this is great so is um and he did use this during lockdown obviously when people were doing all sorts of things they wouldn't have done otherwise um and my husband actually used it as well so it's a nice idea 
um a that they can you know to encourage them just sometimes they could just pick out one and do one type of exercise you know so try to get trying to get them to get get off screens anything that gets them moving is good and i think that's a nice little format um so i'm going to that is all i have at the moment now there are there are other things but i think to the videos if they're too long people won't watch them so i'm going to link these and the next video i'm going to make is going to be on books for advent because a advent is starting tomorrow so i'm going to make show a nice little because actually books would be my favorite so these are the gifts are kind of a bit of a sign <laughs> just i feel like doing it so i just made those videos um but i'm going to show a, a some really really lovely uh, books for children for advent and i'm also going to make a one or two little videos on gifts for girls i have older girls so um they're easy to buy they're easy to buy for in one way but then to get something that's particularly thoughtful or personal um can be a bit difficult so i'm going to see can i get a nice little selection to show you of gifts that have worked well for our for our girls so um so that is that video and i hope you've enjoyed it and like and subscribe i'm always laughing at my my little one will say no like and subscribe that's what everybody says so but if you want to see more then like and subscribe uh, bye now <laughs>